Hey guys, James with Esprit Tech, Jetty USA. Wanted to get with you and uh, go through a real quick video on the servo setup tab under the model menu, uh, what it's used for and how to use the servo balancer there. I've set up our demo model here in the radio as a two flap, two aileron ship. We're actually gonna set it up uh, with four ailerons, two flaps uh, by duplicating the aileron ones and duplicating the ailerons two. Uh, reason for that is so they're prepared together. Your servo adjustments will be singular, but the function assignment and everything is a little tighter that way. Um, I'm going to get into the model menu and get into the servo setup page and kind of go through things with you. At the top of the page is a servo monitor for each servo. Shows you where the servo is currently set at. So right now it's on throttle, so you'll notice if we move the, uh, the throttle gimbal uh, that percentage changes. The next line tells you what servo you're adjusting. And then sub trim, of course, is the next step below that. Sub trim uh, alters the center of the servo or moves the center of the servo. Max positive and max negative limit are next. Those are the travel limits set for uh, that particular function, that particular servo. And then max positive limit, max negative limit is the overall travel available. So if you have a multi, multi purpose or multiple functions assigned to a single servo, uh, this allows you to set limits on a single function and still have the over travel. Like if you're using butterfly, your ailerons are, are deflected to the max limit. The max positive limit also allows the over travel in the aileron function. All of those can be adjusted by selecting that particular parameter and turn in your function wheel uh, to change the percentage. Um, below that, you'll find the reverse for that particular servo. Uh, it's real simple, click on it, turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right, changes from no to yes. Next step is our delay for a positive, positive and negative side. This changes the speed of response of the servo. Uh, most of the time you won't need this. There are certain scale type applications where you'll want to slow down a servo function. Uh, that can be done in the delay positive negative. And then below that, you'll find the servo balancer. Now where this comes in handy is, is when you're building a large scale airplane, or an airplane with multiple servos on a single hinge surface. So say a 40% iMac plane, uh, where you would have two ailerons or two servos per aileron. Uh, what you would do is you would set them up, servo 1, servo 1, servo 2, servo 2. Uh, one would be your master. You would set that servo up. You would set up its center. Using the sub trim, you would set up its max limits and its, and its negative limit uh, for its travel. Uh, and then you would set your expo and your rates the way you want it. Then you would use servo 2 as your slave servo and you would go through and set the same limits that you set up in the, in the first servo when it was connected to the surface itself. Uh, once you were there, in order to verify all of the points in between the max, the center, and the minimum, you would use the servo balancer. And the way you do that, we're gonna go ahead and scroll through. I'm gonna uh, go back to our aileron to give you an idea. But as you go down into the servo balancer, when you move your aileron stick, you'll see that uh, the point on the graph changes. So what you want to do is you'll click in the servo balancer, and you'll notice that lights it up. As you move your stick, that point will change. If you want to work on a specific point, you move the gimbal to highlight that point. Click the lock button which is function four below the screen, and it will actually lock that point there so you don't have to try and hold that stick in a position and turn the wheel. Once you have the point you want to adjust locked, you just turn your function wheel, your 3D wheel left or right. That will change positive or negative on that particular point by up to 10%. Uh, so typically you won't need that much, but you have it there if you need it. And you can go through point by point through the travel of that servo and match the travel from your slave servo uh, to your master servo. If you have any questions on this, just like anything else you see here on these videos, don't hesitate to reach out to Spree Model or Jetty USA. This is James, and uh, thank you.